Good day, I am Reverend Stephen David. Welcome to our virtual church service. The theme of our meditation for today is the Christian's response to the coronavirus preparation. Let me hear an amen for all those who say, I am covered by the blood of the Lamb. Let me hear an amen from everyone who say, I am under the protection of Psalm 91. Let me hear an amen from everyone who said, This virus will pass my tent, since I am a believer. Good, good, brothers and sisters, amen. Let me ask everyone who said amen. Do you look for traffic up and down the road before you cross it? Of course you do. You're a believer, but you're not stupid. Do you lock the doors of your home when you leave it or when you go to bed at night? Yes, you do. And that does not make you less of a believer. You're a believer. But do you keep your money outside in the street and says my money is protected under the blood of the Lamb by Psalm 91? No, you're not stupid. You put your money in a bank and keep that pin to yourself. And why do you do it? Because we as believers are still subjected to the laws of nature and the laws of man. Be not be discouraged, because our Lord Jesus himself subjected him to the laws of nature and to the laws of man. Jesus Christ was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born from a virgin. Oh, how wonderful things, miraculously. But when King Herod wanted to kill him, his earthly mom and dad had to pick him up, and they had to fled to Egypt. There were no angels to carry them through. When Jesus fought the devil for 40 days in the desert, and after those 40 days, he got hungry. An experience of a mortal human being, subjected to the laws of nature. Jesus could walk on water, but he mostly used the boat. He could multiply the fish, but he and his disciples most likely continue catching fish. Jesus could multiply the bread, but he and his disciples also bought it from the bakery. And for the last meal, yes, Jesus could change water into wine, but for the last meal, they bought those things. Jesus also subjected him to the reasonable and just laws of man, Mark 12, verse 17 states, Jesus said, Well then, pay to the emperor what belongs to the emperor and pay to God what belongs to God. Because we are all subjected much more than Jesus Christ as human beings, we are subjected to the laws of nature and man. We must be prepared. Our scripture reading comes from Matthew 25, verse 1 to 4 that says, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Once there were ten young women who took the oil lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and the other five were wise. The foolish ones took the lamps, but did not take any extra oil with them, while the wise ones took the containers full of oil for their lamps. And we know the rest of the parable. The wise ones who prepared and with enough oil in the lamps, they were allowed inside by the groom. The heart of this parable is about the kingdom of God, but it contains messages of being prepared and wise, and those messages are still valid for today. Being prepared and wise is also at the heart of Genesis 41, where the Pharaoh had dreams of seven thin and seven fat cows. And Jesus told the Pharaoh that that dream meant that he had to be prepared. Preparedness and wisdom is applicable, especially for our situation today. As wise Christians, we also Know the limits of our earthly preparations. A mask offers limited help, but it can be self-deceiving if it is not an, an N95 or handled correctly. 
It is impossible to keep a social distance of two meters when you are crammed like sardines in a taxi or a terrain. It is impossible to self-isolate if your whole family stays in one room. It is difficult to keep washing your hands if you have no tap or water. The choice is easy if you only have a few cents and you must decide between bread and bleach. If you must choose between soap or pop. And for some people, the choice is also very easy if they must choose between alcohol for the hands or alcohol to forget their misery. As believing Christians, we must prepare for the coronavirus while we still have and if we have the window of opportunity. But we must also continue to believe in God. Believe and preparation, believe and work, faith and work are two parts of the same coin and they go together like the night and the day. As the saying goes, pray and believe, but draw away from the rocks. May God bless you. Amen.